You know, Officer Tyler Sutton is focusing on his three young children tonight, but he asked his police chief to help him spread awareness about postpartum mental health. You know, two weeks ago we were calling him saying congratulations and putting cards together for him, and now we're preparing for a funeral. Chief Keith Boone, with the family's permission, encouraging others not to judge, but to learn about postpartum depression. It is real, it requires treatment, and family and friends need to be vigilant for the signs. That is the message he's trying to convey, that if his story and Ariana's story can um, help save somebody else, then... That's what he's hoping he can accomplish. Ariana Sutton gave birth to twins two weeks ago. Nine days later, she took her own life. Her condition deteriorated that quickly. Postpartum depression impacts about one in seven people and can seem at first like baby blues symptoms, which may include mood swings, anxiety, sadness, feeling overwhelmed, crying and having trouble sleeping. But with postpartum depression, these symptoms are more intense and last longer and may interfere with the mother's ability to care for her baby and to handle daily tasks. We're talking severe mood swings, excessive crying, difficulty bonding with the baby, withdrawing from family and friends, and feelings of hopelessness or thoughts of harming yourself. Family members need to watch out for these signs and not hesitate to reach out for professional help. As for the Suttons, friends have established a GoFundMe page and are asking for prayers. He has a four-year-old daughter and two twins that were just born, and he's got a long road ahead of him to put the pieces back together of his life. Ariana Sutton was also a dancer and co-owner of the Starline Academy for the Performing Arts in Stoughton. Her funeral will be held tomorrow. Burial will be private. We are live in Easton tonight. I'm Mary Saladna, WCVB News Center 5. Mary, uh, important information. If you are struggling, know that help is available. The National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is right there on your screen. You can call or text 988 whenever you need support. Thank you.